Hello, Yakri here with another artifact video. So this time I want to just, you know, do a little uh, talk about um, this board state right here, right? Because the challenger here is screwed, but he doesn't know that yet. And he makes a pretty terrible play uh, out of the options he has. So the options he has right now are he can pass, he can play Thunderhide Pack, he can play Truth to Power, plus another, plus a Savage Wolf, or Reptile Convoy and a uh, Savage Wolf. Now, the things I would potentially do in this scenario are I'd play the Savage Wolf or Reptile Convoy, and then I would play the other one. If I was playing one of them, I'd probably play both, but you could pass afterwards, potentially. Or I would just pass. Um, I think my top choice would be to just pass, because I want to see what Sun's Fan is going to do, and uh, it kind of depends on the scenario you think you're in but and the spells you've seen so far. Um, I did watch this game, and I think probably I would not expect Lycan or both of my green heroes to get killed, so I can probably still play these cards if I pass, so I'd pass. Now, why do that? Well, because you want to see what Sun's Fan is going to do. You don't know. He's got nine mana left. Um, <laughs> he hasn't done anything yet. You're in a pretty precarious position right here, um, and it might be easier to react to whatever he does or even try and bluff him into just passing and moving on to the next board and trying to continue the game elsewhere than it was to overplay your hand and have him realize, oh, I can just play whatever the hell I want and he can't do anything to respond, right? Because once that happens, if he has any of the cards he actually does have in his hand right now, you're screwed. Um, so yeah, uh, those, are the, those are the things I would do. And um, let's watch what he does, actually. I think it's coming up in a second here. Yeah, they're talking about pretty much the same thing I'm talking about. Um, Sun's fan is worried about playing uh, Yuglodi Vandal or Oglodi, Oglodi Vandal because <laughs> because it could get blocked, right? But this guy plays Thunderhide Pack, and this makes Sun's fan's choice a much simpler. He's going to play Oglodi Vandal. He'll deal four damage to the tower. Oglodi Vandal will be dealing, dealing four damage to the tower, and uh, the challenger is going to lose. And he can't do. And, and Sun's fan knows he can't do anything because he doesn't have a black hero, and he only has one mana remaining. So there it goes, and the challenger loses the game. So he couldn't have actually won anyway because uh, Sunspan had Disciple of Nevermore, Assault Ladder, and uh, uh, Battlefield Control. Battlefield Control, I believe, lets you retarget units, um, if I remember correctly. So any retargeting, he could have retargeted this creep onto the tower, he could have dropped an Assault Ladder, he could have done both. Uh, Disciple of Nevermore would have a similar positive impact in dealing a ton of damage to the tower. He would have won for sure. But you could you could have tried bluffing with the pass turn. And then if Oglody Vandal gets dropped, he then has the option to play Savage Wolf. And then you can see what Sun's Fan plays. And hopefully, your hope is that Sun's Fan has no other cards to play. He does, so you would lose. But if he didn't, uh, you could play Reptil Convoy, hopefully blocking Crystal Maiden and allowing you to live to the next board. So he made the worst choice possible, guaranteeing that there was no way he could potentially live to the first board, essentially just blocking less damage than he could potentially block. Um, just a terrible choice, terrible choice. And additionally, um, in another game, perhaps, Sun's fan would have a high cost card that wouldn't be able to do anything immediately, right? Uh, that he played. Maybe he would play a steam cannon, or maybe he would play something similar to uh, Thunderhide Pack. <laughs> Hopefully not actually Thunderhide Pack, but... Uh, then you might be safe in playing Thunderhide Pack. So another reason to pass. Thunderhide Pack is a terrible thing in this scenario to just drop down first because your opponent knows you've got nothing left in the tank. But if you could play it second after they've played something, then that's potentially acceptable. So anyway, that's just the analysis I wanted to do here. Uh, I think it um, highlights a little bit of the nuance of Artifact's turn system. So I think that's pretty cool. Thank you all for watching. If you like this content and you want to see more like it, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And that's it. Yakri out.